Hey guys, we have a quick review of Dell Latitude, kind of main guy, uh, 5420. Uh, uh, Dell Latitude, again, business-ish, uh, can be set up, so it's kind of on slim side and such. So, and how potential desktop setup can work. So as you can see, this one is featured without kind of normal, uh, if you want, like, um, uh, definitely monitors in this case it's two ultra wide like 64 inches each uh, uh, stacking up uh, uh, also I'm still leveraging uh, this monitor just again because of monitor and first of all to camera to not run external camera let's say to video calls and such so and yeah as you can see it has some some uh, 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 some uh, random stand you can use this one or even have the arm similar to my uh, mic arm so if you want mostly kind of real uh, save more even real estate on your desk uh, so yeah just leveraging like desktop keyboard mechanical not mechanical your choice some mouse and such so this one it's a switcher optional i will talk briefly about this so back to this while we're doing talking about well, we talked about uh, laptop so this uh, rocking 11 generation uh, i7 uh, so 11 uh, for generation 85 g7 so it's uh, so base it's 1.8 for core 8 threads uh, uh, tdp for this guy i guess 28 volts uh, volts there so it also support only two uh, memory slots so i was able to upgrade uh, to 64 gigabyte again just and as you can see it has iris graphics card and they also talk about external uh, graphics card gpu for expansion so again cpu wise okay -ish mobile uh, version i7 which is good maximum memory 64 upgraded and two terabyte m2 amv which is also uh, great uh, and could be upgraded even further unfortunately this guy support only uh, support only one ssd basically you need to upgrade mirror or just to reinstall your windows or mirror in my case i mirror it from the original i believe 256 uh, gigabyte to two terabyte which is again i must probably call the day for this matter but again it's it's your options and the also beauty of everything how you do this normally you can hook up the, the power and call the day and use as a laptop again because we're using the whole desktop format thunderbolt uh, is to the rescue luckily this laptop and i would say in my like uh, book it's a must to have at least two thunderbolt and again while well, you're most probably new or again confused uh, check your specs for your particular model or you planning to buy already have just make sure it's under bold not just USB-C or any other variation so in this case it's under both three later on it's you probably will be already getting uh, four so it's it's just better speed I would say so but will not change the physical uh, connectivity so why Thunderbolt? in short it's basically you have your power your data uh, your video and audio basically in one cable which is kind of beauty of uh, uh, happening uh, in this case I have two cables let's trace one of the main cables that uh, allows me to do external uh, graphics card in, in my case again I'm using I'm using uh, 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 this Radeon from AMD so let's trace it down as you can see one cables basically go long route and connects to um, uh, a razor core x in my case so and in this case what it does uh, it's this is uh, external graphics card and the idea for this unit is because of just one single cable usb-c or again rise the thunderbolt cable able to connect easily so it gives me also power and also connect a desk uh, inside it has its own power supply and also can fit 
almost any graphics card out there, full desktop graphics card, we're not talking about any mobile, so it's fully uh, sized graphics card, I don't know if you can see the normal fan, one, this another, and it's third, three one, if you have this one, I moved this aside just to save the sp uh, space on the desk, but that's the whole idea uh, out there. As you can see, I just connected to normal display ports and run my 4K ultra wide, whatever, even 8K if you want, uh, monitors or TVs or whatever. So, and again, just one cable. You can stop there, but again, in my case, I decided to even push it further and make it more universal. So, that's why I have another cable here. Uh, and again, some dock, sta not dock station, but external one, even the same from Razer. You can have USB C expanded. Unfortunately, this doesn't have it, just have just our uh, video outputs but uh, some version and again if you go with other vendors will have a, another USB normally you can connect your peripherals because I don't have that I kind of had to use some kind of expansion USB expansion but in my case uh, uh, I decided to use uh, uh, another dock station so as you can see I just routed another uh, here and you can see it's pretty lonely there is nothing going on just one USB cable connected here kind of the question kind of what's up with that as you can see normally if you will have your main setup just you your mon uh, just your laptop as a desktop setup you can hook up everything to your uh, dock station and choose your own this, uh, this happens to be some random uh, HP one uh, but uh, you can you can basically connect uh, uh, at any but again be, uh, pay attention make sure it's not just USB C but uh, but a thunderbolt that can also carry power for you Again, and you can maybe can skip even this one. It's overkill to some of you guys if you don't need that uh, and kind of pushing more graphics power. So you can eliminate this, and again, you can even eliminate a, a, a dock station. But again, you still need to connect peripherals. In my case, I'm additionally using. Um, uh, USB switch. So I'm using this because I do have my also desktop running. So and no matter what I'm using my mouse, also my headphones through USB to normal uh, jack uh, uh, 3.5. Uh, uh, so also using my external microphone and also keyboard. So that is my uh, pretty uh, like at least four USB that I need to. So backing to why I need a switch and such, just again, that probably will be kind of confusing for you guys. But again, just uh, what does it do? So I have my definitely laptop connected, as we discussed it, with all this, let's say, for peripherals. I can do the same peripherals in one switch, as you can see, switch it. In my case, I just run uh, uh, my desktop at the same form uh, setup. So what I need to switch USB, just one click, and let's say change the sources of monitors if they will not change automatically from, let's say, dock station or either, in my case, uh, uh, external uh, 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 Razer Core X external GPU unit uh, to desktop. So I can do this basically in, in few clicks to switch back from, let's say, laptop desktop setup to truly desktop desktop setup. So again, using the same mouse, uh, mouse, keyboard, let's say, microphone, headphones and such. So this is pretty much it, right? So again, in your case, uh, I would say uh, or depending on your options, you can definitely get, and I was using uh, a lot, I would say, uh, uh, before even uh, external GPU, as you can see, it has uh, Iris, which is more powerful than usual integrated graphics card, but still integrated, you will not get much. Uh, as you can see, I have also Radeon, so uh, you can leverage heavily and it's capable to support multiple uh, even 4K monitors out there. So yeah, you don't need to, uh, but I would suggest at least invest, if not the external GPU, again, if you, if you need that external power, but definitely to dock station at least and wire it. So let's say, hey, you have laptop, 
you have dock station and all uh, uh, key, uh, peripherals will connect to dock station and we have better uh, cleaner setup and more universal use of being on desktop setup and again if you don't need to you just unplug everything uh, the, basically one or two cables again if you wouldn't run externally you will have just one cable that deliver you all data connectivities monitors uh, as well so you will have it all with one simple one cable solution but again because if you wanted to have more universal setup uh, for myself here uh, I happen to have two connectivity which is great and again for me uh, over time I would say two Thunderbolt is a must to have so this is pretty much wrap up uh, what I wanted to share with you guys again pretty capable uh, uh, basically uh, usual like businesses again a laptop uh, the beauty of that that you still need to have good CPU to keep it running again internal or even external graphics card dock station and whatever liking of uh, monitors again this is ult ultra wide you can do uh, any 4k or normal full HD just keep it running and have fun so this is pretty much it if you have any question please let me know guys consider subscribe like it and yeah see you next one thank you guys bye bye